start with a case study. Three people were killed while 20 others were still missing after a landslide occur in Green Hill on Friday. Seven containers used to help workers at the construction site were covered in the landslide and 20 workers were feared buried alive. The tragedy happened at the construction zone of the road project on the Central Hill site of the area. It was learned that the buried victims were the construction workers. The search and rescue operation by the Fire and Rescue Department is still ongoing while survivors have been sent to the hospital. This tragedy had arisen lots of issue and questions especially regarding their EIA report. So does the road project required EIA report? What are the requirements needed for EIA report? Let's discover this. Hi Professor, we are here to ask about requirement for EIA report. Does a road construction project at the Hill area required an EIA report? EIA or Environmental Impact Assessment is a study to identify, predict, evaluate and communicate information about the impacts on the environment of a proposed project and to detail out the mitigating measures prior to project approval and implementation. This is a legal requirement under the EIA, which under the Environmental Quality Act 1974. Section 34A. This section had stated that any person intending to carry out any prescribed activity shall appoint a qualified person to conduct an environmental impact assessment and to submit a report thereof to the Director General of Environment. Thank you Professor for that. But just now you mentioned about prescribed activities. What are prescribed activities? Prescribed activities referred to the activities in the first schedule and second schedule as in the environmental quality, prescribed activities, environmental impact assessment, order 2015. First schedule do not require public display and public comment unless otherwise instructed by the director general. While, the activities specified in the second schedule require public display and public comment. In the first schedule. There are 21 activities listed. While in the second schedule, there are 17 activities. For detail explanations for each activities in the first schedule and second schedule, you can always refer to the Environmental Quality, Prescribed Activities, Environmental Impact Assessment, Order 2015. Thank you very much Professor, for answering and sharing with us about EIA. So we had heard an explanation regarding activities that listed under EIA Order 2015. Next, let's meet an environmental agency officer for more detail. Hello officer. Can you explain some of the specific requirements of EIA? EIA is not a new thing in Malaysia. Every project that falls under first schedule and second schedule of the EIA Order 2015 is required to provide EIA report. Under A Order 2015, any person intending to carry out any prescribed activity shall appoint a qualified person to conduct and submit an AIA. Qualified person? Who is qualified person? Qualified person is a person who fulfills the requirement as the Director General may determine to conduct an environmental audit and environmental impact assessment, and to submit a report thereon. This person is responsible for AIA and its recommendation. Ensure that the report and the recommendation do not contain any false or misleading information. And, take a professional indemnity insurance for any liability arising from its recommendation. Other important thing as in AIA Order 2015 is. If the AIA is approved, the person shall provide sufficient proof that the conditions attached to the report are being complied with and that the proposed measures to prevent or control adverse environmental impacts. And one last thing which is important for you to know under this order is prohibition. The Director General may issue a prohibition order or stop work order to the person carry out any prescribed activities without approval under subsection 34A3. Any person who contravenes Section 34A can be penalized to a fine not exceeding 500,000 ringgit or to imprisonment for a period not exceeding 5 years or both. Thank you very much officer, for all the information that you had shared just now.
so we had listened a lot of information regarding environmental impact assessment. So how about Green Hill case? Based on EIA Order 2015, Green Hill need to provide EIA report as the development is at a slope and hill area. As in the first schedule of EIA Order 2015, it stated that development or land clearing less than 50% of an area with slope greater than or equal to 25 degrees but less than 35 degrees. Green Hill reported to have a 30 degree slope and these condition cause it to fall under first schedule and need to provide an EIA report. If the slope is more than 35 degree, the activity will fall under second schedule. In theory, the existing law can be effective preventive tool provided all parties including developers and local authorities comply with the law requirements.